As the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney rides and attractions we miss. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be revisiting Disney rides and attractions that have gone the way of the dodo bird. Pull away, me hearties! But keep in mind that some rides and attractions, such as the iconic Skyway, are making a comeback, and will thus not be considered. Number 10. Journey into Imagination Original Version Opening in 1983, this ride was almost as old as the park it operated in. Epcot was the second of Walt Disney World's four theme parks, opening its doors on October 1, 1982. The park is divided into two sections, Future World and World Showcase, the former being where Journey into Imagination originally resided. The ride involved a trip into the imagination of the Dream Finder and his pet dragon the aptly named Figment, and was meant to be an exploration into the world of the human mind. Hello there, I am the Dream Finder. I search the universe for sounds, color, ideas, anything that sparks the imagination. Unfortunately, the ride shut its doors in 1998, but it reopened a year later as Journey into Your Imagination, and later Journey into Imagination with Figment. Number 9. Snow White's Scary Adventures when Disney World opened in 1971, Snow White's Scary Adventures was there to frighten, sorry, welcome, guests. The ride took visitors on a tour of Snow White's world, from the dungeons of the Evil Queen's castle to the Dwarf's Diamond Mine, complete with shimmering jewels of all sorts. For over 40 years, it was one of Magic Kingdom's flagship rides, until it was replaced in 2012 by Princess Fairy Tale Hall, an area where guests could meet and greet some of Disney's most famous princesses. However, if you're a Snow White superfan, you can still find the ride up and running at Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, and Disneyland Tokyo. Number 8. Captain EO Shown at various Disney theme parks between 1986 and 1996, Captain EO was a science fiction film starring Michael Jackson. The plot consisted of Jackson and his alien crew traveling across the universe to deliver a gift to the Supreme Leader. Directed by none other than Francis Ford Coppola, the film was temporarily brought back in 2010 after Jackson's death. The 4D film, so named for its in-theater visual and practical effects, was one of Epcot's main attractions for many years, before being replaced by Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Number 7. Maelstrom Located in Epcot's Norway Pavilion, Maelstrom was a log flume ride first opened in 1988. Guests rode in boats modeled after traditional Norse longships, and were whisked away on a journey complete with Vikings, polar bears, and talking animatronic companions. The ride was designed to give visitors a history of mythological Norway, and was popular enough to remain in use for over 25 years. One of the more exciting rides located in Epcot's World Showcase section, it was with a heavy heart that we bid it adieu in 2014. The ride was replaced with Frozen Ever After just two years later. Number 6. Wishes – A Magical Gathering of Disney Dreams If you've ever been lucky enough to visit the Magic Kingdom, then you'll know that Disney knows how to put on a fireworks show. For 32 years, that show was called Fantasy in the Sky, and in 2003 it was replaced by Wishes – A Magical Gathering of Disney Dreams. The latter consisted of 683 fireworks, and was hosted by Jiminy Cricket and the Blue Fairy, with a special appearance made by Tinkerbell as she flew from the iconic Cinderella Castle's highest spire. Wishes was replaced in May of 2017 by Happily Ever After, another fireworks show that incorporated projection mapping and lasers into its production. Number 5. The Great Movie Ride Oh, Mickey, this is a wonderful movie ride! No, it's the Great Movie Ride! Oh. Housed inside a replica of the renowned Grauman's Chinese Theater, the Great Movie Ride was a cinematic experience unlike any other. Opened in 1989, this dark ride was situated in the heart of Disney's Hollywood Studios. The attraction recreated 12 of Hollywood's most iconic films, using sets, live and animatronic actors and special effects to bring them to life. From Casablanca to Indiana Jones, the ride was an epic journey into the heart and soul of American cinema. Unfortunately, the great movie ride no longer exists, having shut down in August of 2017 to make way for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. As movie fans, we shudder at the thought. Is looking at you, kid. Number 4. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea Submarine Voyage This ride, much like its cross-country Disneyland counterpart Submarine Voyage, no longer exists. It was first introduced as one of the key components of Disney World's Magic Kingdom, located in the Fantasyland section of the park. 
for a submarine journey 20,000 leagues under the sea. From 1971 to 1994, it gave us all memories that would last a lifetime. The ride was an underwater adventure narrated by Captain Nemo, the protagonist of Jules Verne's groundbreaking novel for which the ride was named. Attendees hopped aboard a submarine and descended into the depths of the ocean, where they encountered sharks, divers, and even the ruins of Atlantis. While the ride was a hit with guests, it was simply too expensive to maintain. Number 3. Disney Quest Built in the hopes of bringing Disney magic to those unable to make the trip to one of their theme parks, Disney Quest ultimately failed to catch on with the public. Two versions of the interactive theme park were built, one in Chicago and one in Disney Springs, an outdoor shopping and entertainment center located in the heart of the Walt Disney World Resort. Opening in 1999, Disney Quest featured a number of different virtual reality rides and arcade games. While the Chicago location only lasted two years, Disney Quest Florida remained until 2017, before being replaced by the NBA Experience attraction. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of order. Number 2. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride I'll show you the world! Travel! Change! Excitement! Ha ha ha! After more than 70 years, this ride is still in operation at the Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for its eastern counterpart. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride was one of Disney World's first attractions, and was there back when the park opened in 1971. A guest favorite, the ride took inspiration from the children's novel The Wind in the Willows, and the animated Disney film The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. To the chagrin of many, Mr. Toad took his last wild ride on September 7, 1998. The ride was replaced by The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh the following year. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Racing League was born here at Walt Disney World Speedway two years ago with a promise of exciting, cost-effective American Oval Racing for everybody. Step into the future in Horizons. Step into the future today. Number 1. Main Street Electrical Parade A nighttime parade unlike any other, the Main Street Electrical Parade was one of Disney's most illustrious attractions. Debuting in 1972 at Disneyland and five years later at Disney World, the parade featured a dazzling array of lights strung across floats, buildings, and even live performers. The show also featured a soundtrack made up of classic Disney tunes. Versions of the parade have popped up at various points at Disneyland Paris, Tokyo, and Hong Kong. The parade's most recent run ended in August of 2017, and Disney has made no mention as to whether or not it plans to bring it back anytime soon. But you never know. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.